suck. We haven't been to camp in two years. Last year, super tall, here we go. Come down here beside Colin. Let me borrow you real quick, come on up here for me please, and let me borrow you three right here, y'all come on up for me real quick please. What I did was basically be one of the followers of Christ, and I did what he asked me to do, and I followed the person in front of me, but who followed Roger, or Jesus. Would you meet Jesus for me this morning? Is that okay? I really believe Jesus had a boy. I just think that's awesome. And my dude right here is going to be riding what I want to call the truth train. All right? The truth train. I've heard this just recently, and I love this illustration. The truth train is this. The truth train is we have truth from the Word of God, and what that truth does is it informs our beliefs, and our beliefs lead our emotions. Now, what tends to happen in our lives, the way that Satan wants to deceive us and tempt us and lie to us is this is the way that you feel your emotions which then in fact or affect your beliefs and then your beliefs affects by the way the truth that you believe but listen our truth is not dependent on our beliefs and our beliefs are not dependent on our emotions no 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 instead when we are riding the truth train and everybody say choo choo Let's go to some ride. So I need y'all to like do some train up here. Can y'all do just do a train in motion right here? That's perfect, man. When we are riding the truth train, whenever I say truth train, say choo choo. Ready? Whenever we're riding the truth train, perfect, perfect. What we're doing, man, y'all doing so good. It is the truth of God's word that informs our beliefs, that informs our emotions. Do you feel me? So our emotions, y'all can stop. Thank you so much, y'all. Probably swear it ain't it. You're about to go to red. You're good. Okay, so y'all, y'all can just, y'all can stop for real, for real, for real. So. But good news, we didn't bring any fireworks, alcohol, or firearms, or tobacco. But we're locked out. But we're locked out. <laughs> well, shoot. Can you go around it? No. All right, y'all can stop filming now. <laughs> so we're going to go to the store and buy some poster board and write ambulance on it and put it on the side of the van. <laughs> Yeah. I'm excited about uh, like the tracks and stuff. I uh, I signed up for a lot of them. I don't know which one I'll get, but. <laughs> 
So at A track, I had uh, table games, and we played Uno. I, I have one. one I can use color. this one. One you of every color. Use it. One of every color. Uh, out of five rounds, I won two, and three other people won once. How'd it feel? Scary. <laughs> There's a, oops, sorry, covering area beside the goggle ball pit, and I was thinking that we do the thing with Abby and we do the goggle ball. I'm out. You don't like goggle ball? No, I don't. I, I got this in the face with the goggle ball. I'm good. Uh, we're here at the dodgeball field, or the basketball court, it's about to play in the dodgeball tournament. It's me, Ethan, uh, Ryan, Ben, Isaac, and uh, Alex, and we're expecting a pretty good match for the first one. We're hoping to win, but we're also tired, ready to go to bed, so hopefully we're not up here too long. Uh, I felt like we had a good shot uh, two years ago when we played in the dodgeball tournament. We got second place. Uh, we lost to the leaders, unfortunately, um, but I was like, this year is our redemption season. We got it right here. We can get the dodgeball tournament win. I need Oakview Baptist. You are up. Oakview Baptist. Okay, didn't see uh, So the first team we played, uh, I'm not going to say the name. It was kind of weird, um, but we ended up, we ended up beating them. Came down to the next game, which was against the Wranglers, was their name. Uh, it was a bunch of kids who are all baseball players, so we knew it'd probably be a tough matchup. They looked like they're 12, but they played like they're 20, so not really sure what's happening. Oh my God, Ethan! No! Down to one v two. They had, unfortunately, they had like five or six balls with them, and Alex only had like one or two, and. Um, he threw like he threw both of them, and they ended up just throwing all four. Unfortunate, and we lost. Uh, we got fourth place. Um, but today, in my second track, um, when I had dodgeball, there were three of the kids who um, were from that team, and I ended up playing them in dodgeball today. And I knew that it was going to be my redemption. I was going to do it for my team. And I was like, you know what? We're going to win this. And um, I got two of them out. Um, I did not get out at all. And we ended up winning. And it felt great being able to beat them. I mean, I didn't have my team with me, but I know I took home that first place. So last night, Rob informed us that we would not be going to wreck that we would not be eating breakfast, that we were gonna starve to death in our room. We were in this room and Rob was like, hey, we're all gonna sleep in. I thought he was like sick or something because Rob has never done this before. Uh, but we decided that we were going to sleep until the Bible studies. So at 10.15, we're gonna go to our Bible study groups and finally leave our rooms. We did get to sleep in at the cost of food. We got one more person to shower and then we'll head out. Are you filming? Yeah. Wow.
So basically, it's going. We're throwing a surprise birthday party for Abby because she's leaving before her birthday. Happy birthday! Congratulations on turning 14. Happy birthday. I have cherished my years with you as my best friend and will continue to cherish our friendship for years to come. I will be your best friend no matter where on this earth the Lord gave us either of us live. I have seen you grow so much over the years and not just literally. You have been a great friend to not just me but Laurel uh, and Iris and Katie and Shyla and all of us. Claire. That's why I texted you and asked how do you spell Shyla's name? I misspelled her name so much, I literally just stick with it. It's a new nickname. Yeah, like, it, it, it's my new nickname. <laughs> I know how to spell your name. <laughs> like my nickname. Watch out. Watch out. Nobody knows where this is going to land. This week um, is about dwelling, um, dwelling in God, um, and about God being our refuge and our strength, um, our, the one that we hold on to, um, the one that we go to for shelter, and 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 it's just really amazing um, how God loves us so much, and that He. Um, is our refuge and our strength even when we feel like we can't we're giving up even when we feel discouraged um, he still loves us when I wake I know you are with me in the dark I can almost see you clearly every day you see posters and fill in the blank. We've made it easy for you. It's just to fill in the blank. You're going to only answer one and then you're just going to head back to your seat. So. Mega Relay for tonight. Okay, so Mega Relay is where you have all your Bible study groups and they're competing against them. This giant relay, it's so much fun. There's powder, there's games. Spending time with your best friends. So, you'll see this later. I'm so tired. I'll be in this high! Sorry. 
had to hit the hit beat, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. Too many. Oh, you ain't getting in, Ali. Oh, no, 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 no. Bye. 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 Oh, we're going to evening worship. His money in the mission's offering. Po. Money in the mission's offering. Po. Doing Christ's work right here. You're always resting at my door Though I've wavered, you've been waiting I'm the one you're looking for Gratefully and humbly I give you everyone's grown over the years um, just how much like confidence how much um, you know like knowledge and like heart not not just like head knowledge but like heart knowledge that people have grown in their faith it's just so amazing to me to just see um, all these like young kids um, growing up to be just such great um, prayer warriors and just um, men men and women of God it's just amazing this is my uh, last year as a uh, as a kid, um, I've been going to Fuge for about six, seven years now. Um, Fuge has really changed my life. This is the camp that I got saved at. I got saved in 2018 in the room with Robert. Uh, I remember that was at like 2 a.m. and everything. Um, but Fuge has really been a part of my life um, and always will be with all the leaders that have been over the years. I still have pictures from like 2016 with the leader I was with. Um, but if any of y'all have never been to Fuge, um, I want y'all to come talk to me and I will tell you about Fuge. Fuge is an amazing place to go to for camp. It's the one camp that I enjoy for um, the youth group. Um, but unfortunately, this is my last year as a kid and now I gotta step up and be a leader. Even though I'm gonna be behind the scenes, I'm still gonna step up and try to be a leader to everybody. All right. one for the books because it was my last trip as a kid so all I gotta say is come to Fuge. <laughs> 